Hello, Ros Childs with ABC News. Labour Senator Sam Dastiari is under increasing pressure, including from his own side, to resign from federal parliament that follows further allegations about his links with China. Fairfax Media is reporting Senator Dastiari urged Labour's deputy leader, Tanya Plibersek, not to meet pro-democracy activists in Hong Kong. From Canberra, here's political reporter Caitlin Gribbin. A power broker could be running out of time. Sam Dastiari is a double agent and he can't be in the Australian Senate. Sam Dastiari, I'm sure, um, is thinking very deeply about um, his role within the party. I made a mistake. The opposition senator is back in the headlines. Today's story, yet again, about his links to China. Fairfax is reporting Sam Dastiari tried to pressure Labor's then foreign affairs spokeswoman not to meet with a pro-democracy Chinese activist on a trip to Hong Kong in 2015. He's been caught. Sam Dastiari has been caught betraying his country. And that means he is betraying every patriotic Australian in this country. I don't have any problem with Sam Dastiari sitting in the Senate. I think a lot of this has been overblown. Rumours of attempts by Sam Dastiari to lobby Tanya Plibersek over her visit to Hong Kong have circulated in Canberra for some time. Senator Cory Bernardi referred to the incident in August last year. When they were in Hong Kong, about to meet with this individual, one of their colleagues from the ALP rang them up. Rang them up and begged them not to go because it would upset the Chinese embassy. Fairfax says it's established Senator Bernardi's account of what happened was inaccurate and that Sam Dastiari did not speak directly to Tanya Plibersek. But he did repeatedly attempt to warn her that her meetings in Hong Kong would upset figures in the Chinese community in Australia. Senator Dastiari has denied the media report and Tanya Plibersek's office says the meeting went ahead as planned. I think Mr Shorten needs to front the media today to make the announcement that we all know is coming, and that is that Sam Dastiari must resign from the Senate. Even his own colleagues are urging a rethink. In relation to uh, the continued role of Sam within the parliament, that is a matter, I think, very much for Sam. Sam needs to reflect upon his position. I think that uh, Bill's made it very, very clear uh, that he's you know, not, not going to be getting uh, any promotions. Sam Dastiari is the government's target, but there are risks he won't be the only casualty. Labor fears a crackdown on foreign influence generally could put Beijing offside. And as a powerful, centrally controlled trading partner, China has formidable potential to wreak economic retaliation on this country. Caitlin Gribben, ABC News, Canberra.